Hi everybody, this is Michael with CKLS and another 5-Minute Friday. Today we're going to talk about patrons and their circulation history. Specifically, let's say you've got a patron who checks out lots and lots of items, but they can't always remember what they've checked out in the past. There's actually a setting we can change on the patron's account that will give you a notification whenever you try to check out an item to that patron that they have checked out before. Let's take a look. Now before we take a look at the patron's account, you should know that in order for this setting to work properly, the patron does have to be saving their circulation history, and if they're not, they have to opt in to turn it on. Check out the end of this video for a bit more information on that if you need to know how that works. But for now, let's take a look at a patron account. Here's our patron. First of all, I'm going to show you what happens when we don't have the setting on. I'm going to check out an item. There it is. It's called Catching Air. And if I look at the patron's circulation history, right here on the left side, we can see that this patron has checked out Catching Air several times before. But the only way that you would know that is if you checked their circulation history. But now if we go back and we go to Edit the Patron, we want to scroll down a little bit further past these first boxes and we're looking for this box that's called library management and right here is a setting that says check for previous checkouts normally it's just going to say inherit from settings we're actually going to change this to yes if settings allow it I'm gonna click on that and then make sure you save your patron and now I'm going to try to check out this item again that has been checked out before and you'll see that it didn't check the item out and we get a yellow box and here it says please confirm checkout patron has previously checked out this title check out anyway and then we can we have a choice we can choose to check it out to them anyway or we can choose to reject the checkout and it won't be checked out and if for some reason your patron decides that they don't need it anymore or you don't want it then you can always go back to settings and turn it back off one thing to keep in mind is that your patrons may not have their circ history saved forever. If we look at the patrons details right here on the left side of the screen and then we look under the library use section privacy preference right here it says temporary. This means that the circulation history is not being saved forever. It's only been saved temporarily. If you or the patron wants to change this privacy setting so that their circulation history settings are changed that's not anything that you can do from the staff side. The patron has to be able to log in and change that on their end. And how they can do that is through the original patron catalog. And you can get there if you go up to the header we have this link called patron catalog. Click on it and then we're going to click on the original patron catalog. This is where the patron would go to change their settings and they need to log in down here with their card number and their password. Once they've gotten logged in, we are going to scroll down and let's keep an eye on the left side here and there's lots of different options. What we are looking for is your privacy and we click there and this talks about privacy management and it tells them their three different options are keeping the history forever, keeping it temporarily which is for three years, or not keeping their history at all. And they can choose to change the rule here and then save and then that will change their settings on the staff side. If a patron wants to change their circulation history settings so that only they can see it and staff cannot see it, they can also do that in the new patron catalog. But if they change it here on the original catalog, it's going to change the settings so that both the patron and the staff can see that patron's checkout history. If you would prefer to have print instructions for how to change a patron's circulation history, we can actually do that. Find it, the link to it in the description of the video. But other than that, that's all for today. We will see you next time. Have a great day.